Welcome to the next video in the Python Store Procedure Series, Use a Data Frame. My name is Angela Harney. I have experience with SQL Server since its first edition. I am Snow Pro Core Certified and a Snowflake Certified Data Engineer. I have five years of cloud experience, over 20 years of database programming and data warehouse experience, and over 10 years experience as a Continuing Education College instructor. Be sure to watch all three videos in this series write to a table, use a data frame, and use a calculation. Let's get started by creating a small table to work with. This is the same table from the first video in this series. We will be expanding on the same store procedure basics we learned in that session. We will start out with the same store procedure syntax and parameters, but name our store procedure USP underscore data frame underscore procedure. We will first enhance the previous code by adding an import statement that allows us to easily refer to columns in a data frame by their name. Next, we will add a variable named table underscore count that gets set to the row count of the snowflake table we create in the write.saveAds command. Next, we will add a variable named workout ID to store workout IDs that we pass when we do a loop through our data frame rows in a coming slide. To create a data frame using inference to establish the structure of the data frame, simply set a variable that refers to the table through the exception object. To create a data frame using inference to establish the structure of the data frame, simply set a variable that refers to the table through the session object. This automatically sets the data type of the variable to a data set. The Snowpark API does lazy evaluation, which means the object is not automatically created until an action such as the dot write command or dot collect or dot show is issued. Dot collect and dot show will bring data to the store procedure and are not intended to be applied to large data sets. Our table has a column named rid rid that stores an incremental row ID, which we will use to loop each row, getting the ID of each workout from the column named ID. Row 153 sets the variable df underscore ID underscore row as a data set object consisting of one row of the DF underscore IDs data frame that is equal to a filter where the rid column is equal to the loop count we are on. Dot, the dot collect takes the action of bringing the row of data to the store procedure so we can access the values in that row of data. Row 154 then sets a variable equal to the first row second column which is the ID field overwriting the workout underscore ID variable each time. These two lines of code demonstrate two different ways of referring to specific columns in a data frame. Row 155 increments our loop until all rows are accessed. The return command converts the integer value collected off the row into a string and returns the last processed value as the output of the store procedure. Execute the store procedure by running the call command followed by the name and input values for the procedure. Python code can be copied and pasted into a Snowflake store procedure and runs the same as it would in other editors. The clean up and drop store procedure refer to the signature of the store procedure, which is the name and the data types of its parameters. Drop and clean up any unused tables that are no longer needed. Watch the next video in this Python series, Python store procedure, use a calculation. Search hashtag Snowpark Sundays or hashtag Angela Harney on YouTube to see other videos.